It's John T, boy. Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's your boy Jonty. Welcome back to the channel. Today I got another video for you guys. With this right here, we're going to be doing a VST review. It's not like a VST, it's more like a, a standalone application review. Uh, it's a plugin called Expose 2, but before I explain about what it is, I'd like for you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and also smash that like button. I really appreciate it. As for me, everyone knows me as a mix and master engineer. I've been doing this for about 13 years. I try to learn every single day to make myself better at what I do and what I love doing the most. People from California, New York, Florida, Texas, even some people from overseas, you know, uh, you know, they see my YouTube videos, they hit me up on Instagram or Discord or, you know, and, or, or any other social media platform. It's always best for you guys to network with each other because you never know what type of opportunities are laying there for you. This is called Expos Part 2. It was created by a plugin developing company called Mastering the Mix. Now basically what they do is that they create plugins to help people with their mixes to get better quality, figure out exactly what's going on in order to better themselves as engineers. It's called Expos Part 2 because this is a major update, but I've used Expos Part 1 like for the last two and a half to three years. It analyzes the quality of your mixes to, to, to find out what are the errors that are causing your mixes to sound not as good as you expect it to be when you put them on streaming platforms. I mean, this application by itself will, uh, will, will figure out exactly what's, what's wrong with your mixes. It can help you by telling you that your mixes are overcompressed, phase issues, your peaks are too high, over limiting, anything in that nature. It'll let you know what's wrong so you can go back and fix it. And that's what I love doing my work the most before I even send it out to uh, other clients. I always check it out to see what am I doing wrong, how can I fix it. I have five audio clips on here, and uh, I've already, I'm already seeing some, you know, some errors. Uh, two of them is, two of them are two songs that I mixed. Two of them are the beats to the songs that I already mixed, and one is a reference track from one of my favorite artists, Lecrae. Uh, but first, we're gonna start from the uh, top. Uh, this is my home girl from Cali. Uh, her name is Turfa Girl. Um, she's a dope lyricist. She makes beat making videos as well. You know, she has her own uh, material. She comes out with a lot of uh, music videos. I suggest you guys check her out. Shout out to her. This is a song she sent me not too long ago called All White. Before we start playing her music, I want to show you guys exactly what's the difference and what exactly Exposed 2 can actually do for you. Now, these are uh, presets for mixing, mastering, and broadcast. As, far as, as well as user. Now, user, uh, you can create your own preset. Now for mixing, it comes with balance, dynamic, loud, and punchy. So when you mix your music, you want to put it under mixing. And whatever you would like to check, whether it's your, mu your music is well balanced, or you want to make sure that your dynamics are hitting pretty good. You want to make sure that it's loud enough and have a lot of punchiness to it. I have it on balance. And the reason why it's blue, because it's, let it's letting me know that, okay, overall, it, it seems good. Now, at the bottom, it says compare EQ, and right now it's letting you know exactly where the frequencies are as your music is being played. Stereo, mid, and side. Now, for this right here, I read that when you, when the frequency is going past 0 dB, it's, it's giving you more of a negative reading. Now, that right there, I'm not that's not much I can do with that because I didn't mix the beat. I only mixed the vocals so I can make them sit on top of the beat and make sure that everything has its own space and dimension and this is where we go from the beat to her song right here and I didn't mix it it's already mastered so we put it on mastering all same thing goes for mastering presets all around Apple digital master Apple music yada 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 you know it's right there you know the whole nine I go to either all around or balance let's go to all around now as for all white I have some some small tiny face issues when you click on this F right here it gives you the uh, analysis feedback and it lets you know what needs to be done and if it's blue it's fine if it's red that's where you gotta fix something now it lets me know that the stereo feel you know uh, it strongly favors the left or the right channel this could be given an unbalanced sound now that right there I did the best I could I'm not I'm not the best engineer but when you go to 
the actual beat and you click on the, the, the F4 analysis feedback, it lets you know that it has the exact same problem, the peaks. Now, you can actually fix it. You can actually, you can actually EQ it while you're, uh, while you're recording somebody or when you're mixing somebody. But uh, I did the best I could to give it space because not every producer can actually give your vocal space without, actually, without having to be there. If a producer makes a beat for you and he sends it to you, you might have a lot of instrumentation where it's fighting around the same frequencies because that's lacking space and dimension. So what you want to do is, is that when you lease a beat or buy a beat from a producer, make sure you get the track outs or the stems. So in that way, you can create your own space. And then once you mix it and master it and you put it back in Expos Part 2, hopefully the, uh, the frequencies can, uh, can be a little bit above 0 dB. Yeah, so when you click on uh, analysis feedback, it lets you know the, the loudness, the peaks, the stereo, and the dynamics. Like I said, blue is good, red is bad. From this point, when you click on it, it's supposed to show you exactly where in the audio file where it caught the error. Now, when I click on the peaks uh, section, it's not really showing me where, but it's not much of a big deal at all. You know, it's more of a, of a face issue. But it says that your audio has moments where it strongly favors the left or the right channel. And that, I agree. So every song that you create and every song that you listen to in the radio, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sound completely different, whether it sounds good to you or not. Now, as for the stereo, you know, it's letting me know that uh, select the heat map to expose the issues on a waveform. I click, I click on it, and it's not showing me exactly where. But it tells you, you know, if you feel they need to be corrected, resolve this in your in your DAW. Now, if you feel like it needs to be fixed, then go ahead and do that. If not, by all means, just leave it the way it is. Sometimes less is more. And like I said, I mean, I, everything is blue. It looks perfect. It looks like a perfect master. I'm not saying it is, but if you listen to it, it might sound good enough to you. And please be advised that this does have prof profanity in it. I hopped out the whip and let Casper dry A bitch wish she could get inside All white, like I've been baptized A motherfucker hate, I don't hear him, they try A motherfucker hate, I don't hear him, they try It ain't shit they can tell me They fine, this a real me I don't wear a disguise, man, I need this You can see it in my eyes we That was uh, Turfer Girl, that was her song Now this is the beat that she sent me to mix her vocals on and you can, see, you can see that it's in the red. It's peaking really bad. When you find out exactly what's going on, just stroll down. You go down to peaks and it lets you know exactly what the problem is. The decibel true peak target is negative 0.1 dB, which is the factory default settings for the application. You can, all, you can always change it. It doesn't have to be exactly what it says. Now, it's, tell, it, it, it's advising me to adjust my limiter output gain by negative 0.14 dB to achieve a maximum peak of negative 0.1 dB. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what it means. You know, as far as with producers, not every producer, not every engineer is gonna do their best by working with you unless you tell them what you want. Uh, right now, um, and it's showing me the EQ for the song that I worked on. Like I said before, it's a negative reading. Reason why? Because it could be the beat or it could be me. But what I'm doing is I'm just placing their vocals inside the beat. You're finding certain frequencies inside of a beat that's clashing really bad. And all you're doing is you're just opening that space right there. You're opening it to give space and room for your vocals. And if, your voc if you lay your vocals in there very well, you can close up that section that you just opened just a little bit. So the dynamics can come back and punch. Once you hear that punching is to, to the vocals, you hear the vocals loud and clear. You hear the beat loud and clear. Nothing is clashing with one another. Everything is just right. Everything has its own space and dimension. That's basically what I'm doing. And the reading that I'm getting, it's a negative uh, reading based on the beat that I received from the producer. I didn't mix it. All I'm doing is I'm just laying down vocals for my client to mix. Now, Save the Trees, this is by, this is by my boy Edward Gwynn, a client that I work with personally, a dope lyricist. He boy could sing and rap. He got some um, new mu music videos coming out very soon. You guys check them out. Turf Girl and Edward Gwynn. I got the information in the description below. Check them out if you guys are interested. And this is him right here. This is instilling mastering all around. Let's go to balance. Basically the same thing. And they finally found three errors in the, uh, the waveform. 
and that's the same thing as before. Let's go to the analysis feedback section. Now, there's certain parts of the song where it, you know, it's clashing just a little bit, but that's fine. And I'm, yeah, see, the target is negative 12 loafs. Adjust your limiter in, input gain by negative 2.2. Not much of a big difference at all. That is very, very tiny. That is a, that is a little bit. And if you think about it, you just leave. I could just leave it the way it is, and it's just fine. But let's play it and see what's going on. See, it's not bad at all. It's it's a good it's a good mix. I don't I don't. Sometimes less is more. Like I said before, you really don't have to go back and just do exactly what they say. Not everything that they analyze is accurate. Um, let's go to the beat. Uh, let's go to the beat of the uh, of the song. And like I, I'm just telling you before, I didn't mix it. It's it's red. The whole entire waveform is red. So it might sound like a good quality mix song, but it might have its it might have its, its problems. So let's check and see what, what the problem is. Loudness. Uh, the target is negative 12 loafs. Uh, I call it loafs. Apologize. Uh, adjust your limiter by 5 decibels. Yeah, so it's it's pretty loud. It's pretty loud. And um, other than that, everything else is okay. No phase issues. Dynamics are good. Yeah, that's that's basically what it is. You know, it's 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 not it's not rocket science. Like I said, I use this to help to help me with my mixes to make sound it to make sure that they sound better before I even give them to my clients. Now the last song I'm not gonna play is by Lecrae, one of my favorite hip hop artists. Uh, this is copyrighted, so I'm not gonna play it on YouTube because of cop copyright situations. Um, this is a professionally mixed song, mixed and mastered, and you can tell when I put when I put it on Expos, it found a lot of uh, problems towards the end of the of the song. Now, every song you hear on the radio doesn't mean it's a perfect mix. And you go on to the analysis feedback, it's the stereo and dynamics. Now, uh, you compare your EQs between any song, uh, any song that you imported on here, even reference tracks. Uh, all the songs I have on here, the five uh, audio uh, files, it's showing you exactly what the problem is. Like, let's say, for instance, let's go to uh, Zombie, and I'll hide the rest. Go on Zombie, it shows you right there. Less energy than reference track. Less energy in here, less energy in there, but more energy right there. That's show, that's, this frequency uh, range right here, 500 to 2K, that's showing you that the vocals are on top of the beat. It's right in your face. You hear mostly vocals around there, and then everything else on the side, you go to the side, it's the beat. That's why it's high up here. Highly high energy, more energy, and for mids, it's most likely, uh, I would say, mm, probably like the hi hats, the uh, the cymbals, small instrumentation that you don't hear most of the time, but you know it's there. Don't hear it that well in the mid frequency range, and as for stereo, you hit everything, of course. But for side, you hear the beat, you hit the kick, you hit the clap. You hear the drums most of all. Sometimes the piano, guitar, any type of lead synth, you hear that on the side, and that's fine. And that's where you get the most energy from. But you everything all together, there's less energy right here, less energy right here, and more energy right there, which is mainly the vocals. And uh, that's basically it. You know, it's just it's not that hard to do. Not every song that you mix that sounds great to you is going to come out perfect on Exposed. But you use Exposed to get a second opinion. And that's basically what I do for every mix that I do. And it's not that hard. I love it. I've been using it for like two or three years. You know, if you guys want to find out exactly how this thing works, just go ahead and click on the link in the description below. If you if you need some mixer mastering services, I have my information there as well. It's your boy John T. I'm signing off. You guys have a blessed one. I love you. God loves you more. Take it easy and stay blessed.